how can I even try to explain what I've seen? Little kids help us on the floor, like in some bad dream. Some couldn't move their limbs at all, and one was trying to feed the little boy lying next to her, and it helped me to see that we're all in this together. Living right now, let's try and make it better for each other somehow. My name is Kuni. I've never been. My name is Musa. I am six years old. My name is Christina. My name is Jeffrey. My name is Kuni. I can change the world. Since I walked away from the kids that day through the bustling street. I've looked a little deeper at every stranger I meet. I see much more in common than I used to do. You smile just like me. I hurt just like you. 'Cause we're all in this together. Let's do what we can. I can change the world. I Can Change the World follows the personal efforts of a group of professional speakers who each believed they can affect change in the world by simply taking action and being present. Good morning. Here we are. Rise and shine in a new country, a new place, a place to find our hearts as we give to others. The mission. While on professional speaking assignments affecting change worldwide, Let's inspire young minds in orphanages and local communities by bringing gifts, both of the material and the sublime, both of toys and of joys. This morning it's Tuesday morning, so the、uh, today we're getting acclimated and preparing and making phone calls, and but then Wednesday we start. We we have two、uh, two facilities tomorrow. That one one orphanage in the morning, and then actually a women a girls shelter in the in the afternoon. So we'll about an hour away from here, and.、Uh, We get to do a concert, a concert of both of them. So the concert's on Thursday at what time?、Uh, it's Wednesday night. A Wednesday night. Yeah, and、okay. it's at six. Concert's、okay. at six in this big hall, real nice hall. It's funny how the the whole thing unfolded. Really, it started out with a, a dream of W. Mitchell's, who's the president of the Federation, of wanted to touch a hundred million kids, and Mitchell has a wonderful way to touch kids' hearts, and we've all. On this tour, in some way, have been touched by Mitchell's amazing ability to connect, and we all want a little piece of that. And so I ran with that dream. But as the whole thing has unfolded, everybody has had a piece of this dream. And John Crudelli and I, when we've talked about this, I mean, this is such a big piece of John's heart and what he, his work that he's done with kids. And and Lori has has been working with kids all her life in one way or another, from teaching school to being over in Mexico working with kids. And And Jana has an amazing impact on kids, and and those. And Jana's tagline is a difference maker to the difference makers, and、uh, you know we're all different difference makers in our own ways. And then have a someone as as powerful and with such a big part as Jana to be a, a part of this. So we all come together, and I I just always believe that for whatever reason, once we decided that we were going to do this, that we needed to do it, and. I, I knew that the bigger cause would come out, and it's still yet to come out. It's what we do after we leave here that's going to make the biggest difference. I mean, Jana's song really says it all. I cannot, I cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that I can do. So if I, we can just do a little, little piece to do our part, then, then we all win. What if we're all meant to do what we secretly dream? You know, as we travel up and down this、uh, canal and、uh, through the city, there's this the mingling of the hotels and the entrance of the, the Western world with what's old in Thailand. And as I sit here and, and look around, I, I have layers within myself. The, I have、uh, probably judgments that I carry with me from from America as I prepare to go into the orphanages tomorrow, and、uh, I think this is helping me to start releasing and working through my own layers because the the ability to connect with others is going to be first found with wherever we can go with ourselves to release 
judgment so that we can be more open-hearted and more present, not just to give, but to receive and to be available and to make make room for um, the, the people that we meet along the way, uh, whether it's these people here on the, the canal, uh, people in the shops or the children that uh, we may encounter uh, in this uh, journey with uh, the orphanages in the next couple of days, the next two weeks actually, that we'll be in Asia. What would you ask if you knew you could have anything? If we could leave these kids with maybe one, one or two, like one, one thing that they can say, that they can keep in their mind, yes. to, for yeah. the mindset, what could we leave them with? I can be great without being perfect. I like that. There is a dignity in themselves, even if they're handicapped or if they've got a history that's, 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 that they're struggling through, they're still there's dignity in the history. Right, because the handicapped, it's different yeah. for them to, you, you are know, loved I mean, and lovable. Because, Those yeah, are the core, yeah, that's the yeah, core probably, need better. of every soul. Yeah. Is I know I'm loved yeah. and I know that I'm lovable yeah. and I'm loved is the core need of a yeah. spirit. And then what you do with that core is the next piece. But the first piece is I am loved and I'm lovable. I am enough just as I am. Yeah. And what you, what they relate to is heart to heart. I mean, just to, just to be there with them, to laugh with them, to play with them, to, yeah. I mean, that's the best way to bring out the core of their authenticity and who they are. I have the song, I am born for greatness. Now that, I am born for greatness, doesn't get more simple yeah. than that. Yeah. Jana, Scott, Shari, Lori, and John make their way to Batam, 20 miles south of the city of Bangkok. This orphanage is home to over 75 children, some with varying levels of physical and mental handicaps. Their blissful, innocent spirits are their greatest coping mechanism, their greatest hope for happiness. The purpose of this visit soon becomes clear. There is a personal awakening among those in the group. We realize there is so much more beyond our own reality in this world that we just don't know. We recognize that seeing the world through the eyes of another yields the greatest understanding. We are, how can we say? Just say it in English, I'll translate. We are a, a group of friends. From America. With all different backgrounds. But with a common heart. In that we care for each other as friends. And we care for others. And today we are here to care for and with and be with you. We came all this way just to meet you. Because you are special and worth meeting. We got, uh, we got everything. We, uh... We got dinosaurs, we got, oh, oh, we got tea, we got tea pieces. That's what we got. Uh, some of our group was saying, do the toys distract? And I say, no, the toys become a place to enter in. And then as we get comfortable with each other, the toy can disappear and we now have a connection of being able to, to, to be with a child and sit with them because they've come to trust. That takes time. Going to the kids that couldn't come out, they could hear us, but they couldn't come out because they're not mobile at all. So I'm seeing kids laying on the floor. This is their dinner table. It's because the cafeteria is being renovated, and so we have so much. And it's just a constant reminder we're here to give, but what's, we just learned that we have so much. What's really valuable out of out of this experience is to realize that it's just, it's not that hard. It's one step after another to make something happen like this. I think a lot of people want to contribute and have great ideas and visions of, of the way that they would want to help the world, but then actually making those visions into reality is a whole other thing and some obstacles show up and an obstacle shows up and, and the idea ends up dissolving. And what I've seen from creating this and really from from seeing how Scott's approached every idea, I mean, every obstacle that's come up, and there's been so many, so many times that I was ready to say, well, I guess we're not gonna do this, you know? And 
we just kept going and we just kept going and we just kept going and we just kept planting all these different seeds. And if you plant enough seeds, something will grow. And this trip grew out of planting a lot of different seeds. And just to keep going and actually allow the vision to kind of take a little bit different path and, and just follow it where it goes. Later that day, the group travels to Kredrakarn, a government facility for young girls rescued from a life of sexual exploitation. Kredrakarn offers a safe refuge for these teenagers involved in illegal sex trades in and around the streets of Bangkok. I want to bring my friends, Scott, Shari, Laurie. Laurie. These are my friends. We want, we want to be your friend. And we're here uh, in Thailand on business. And while we're here, we're going out and trying to uh, uh, bring our hearts of help and care to uh, other people, very special people just like you. I have the belief in me, my self-confidence. The translator closes this by saying, believe in yourself. Don't be bothered with your past. You have a new future to create. Believe in that future and we can reach whatever we believe for. Later that evening, Scott organizes an intimate concert setting to help raise consciousness and support for these orphanages in Thailand. Jana's words and music provide the perfect inspiration for people to open their hearts and realize how each one of us can change the world in our own personal way. We said, I can change the world, and when you try to take on the world, there can be a world of change that can happen inside of you. You know, we, we did something. We had a, a tug in our spirit and our hearts. We, 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 we were invited to, to take a journey. We came together to actually plan it, each of us in our own way, bringing who we are to the table, uh, whether it was in the planning or in the, the actual participation of. And uh, I, I hope that we can be, and I hope that I can be a reminder or an invitation to others to just act. I cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that I can do. Being brought together by whatever force of the universe that has brought us all together to do good and to make a difference for whatever we're supposed to do and then to come together tonight and see the beauty that was created here and know that our calling is so much greater than, than who we are. Here we go. What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today? And it takes courage to become the best you that you're here to be. So ask yourself these questions. What's your next brave step? What would I do if I knew that I could not fail? If I believed, would the wind always fill up my sail? How far would I go? What could I achieve? Trusting the hero in me. If I were braced, but I walk the racer's teach people where true believers to tread and I'd never lose faith even when losing my way what step would I take today if I were brave say that before say to him what you just shared and see what
what you experience in your spirit. And think about in the people you're meeting and greeting. What do you get to do today versus have to do today? Is your work a duty or is it a privilege, as is parenting? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, because maybe I'm doing that less, you know. Uh -huh. in the past. Also myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we, yeah. And I don't care if people like me. I like me. I am awesome. Love you. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a hand. The journey continues as the group travels to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Located in the heart of Southeast Asia, Kuala Lumpur is progressive and ethnically diverse, comprised primarily of Malays, Chinese, and Indians. Later that evening, the team speaks to the Malaysian Association of Professional Speakers. MAPS is the newest member of the International Federation of Professional Speakers. A welcome fellowship of like mind, like spirit is felt as ideas and methods are shared. Common universal truths that fuel the vitality of the human experience. I cannot do all the good that Shari needs me to do. But Shari needs all the good that I can do. <laughs> uh, we are going to uh, Times Square Pajaya this morning. We have an HR conference. All of us will be speaking. Winning the war for talent. Just as in the America, Malaysians seek answers to challenging work and life issues. Malays, too, feel the pressure of a vibrant economic climate. The team delivers a full day of keynote speaking and training. The downturn in the market leads to fear. What do people do when they're fearing? They start to play to not lose instead of playing to win. For me, this was a big stretch to come on this trip because I've never uh, done public speaking before. Everyone else on this trip has been a professional public speaker. And for me, it was really, really a stretch and I was very um, confronted in doing this, just thinking, I, who am I to do this, and how, what do I know, and what do I have to share? And it was so empowering doing it because I, it was really well received, and it's a dream of mine to be a public speaker and to be out in the world sharing ideas and, and inspiring others, and I feel like I actually got to do that. So you've heard that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. I'm here to tell you, it's not about the destination or the journey. It's about who you become along the way. If I were brave, I'd walk the razor's edge Where true believers dare to tread And I'd never lose faith Even when losing my way I live here for six years. I live here for five years. Five years. I five years. We're at our third stop on the orphanage trip, which is Rama Hope, and uh, having a lot of fun, singing songs and playing games, and uh, you know, making new friends and having a having a wonderful time and feeling good. I was trying to find pick things up that would uh, would connect, that would actually engage people, that they could play with a little bit. So balls and tops and puppets and just a chance to, to actually have, have a little bit of fun with the kids and, and uh, to where they could do something, I could do something, we could, we could do something together. John experiences moving personal insights as he is drawn into simple child's play. It's not what we can teach them, it's what we let them teach us. Doing, That's what's us. empowering. That brings out the joy. Game. See the confidence that comes. If we, don't, if we don't ever play, who's the real orphan here? Shari receives a very personal calling as she experiences a magnetic connection to one special young girl. I know it sounds funny. Maybe come to school in the U.S. as an exchange student. Because you'll see. 
because there are so few women who like math and science, the women get recruited. So I had this amazing conversation with a 16-year-old girl. She's uh, one of four siblings. Two of them are here. And she's really sad about being here. But uh, she's smart, and she likes math and science, but doesn't see lots of options. So we talked about different options. We talked about accounting and statistics and science and um, all forms of mathematics. I mean, I've oriented my life around two concepts. Will this be fun, and can I make a difference? And that's, my, uh, that's always my deciding factor with anything I do. I do think one person makes a difference. I think an interaction makes a difference. I think a conversation makes a difference. I think a... Uh, like, she just made a difference for me. I'm sure I made a difference for her. What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? Later that evening, a community concert to raise money and awareness for these young children. I'm really excited. We've got so many kids from the orphanages who are here, and they're just beautiful kids. And um, I'm hoping they'll sing with me. I'm hoping they'll dance with me. I'm not sure. You never know with kids, especially when you're in another culture in another country. You don't know, so we'll find out. I hope they'll sing and dance with me. I cannot do I can change the world to the extent that we reach out to change the world. Maybe there's a world of change that can happen in us. The final orphanage visit takes Scott, John, Shari, Lori, and Jana to a group home just outside the city of Kuala Lumpur. This was such an amazing experience going to this orphanage. This is what our fourth orphanage I believe that we've been to so far and everyone is different and yet similar because the children are so full of joy to be with us and we're so full of joy to be with them and I This visit has particular effect on Lori as she meets face to face with a very impressionable and bright young girl. Uh, she teaches us she's 20 songs and she teaches me a lot of songs. It seems like we should be able to quantify, oh well what difference are we making and how can we put this in to a way of measuring it and there's no way to measure it. It's, it's so much deeper than that. You know, we're only here for a few minutes really and yet I'm going to take this with me for the rest of my life and I believe that they will too. It is just these little moments in time and being present. I have a dream of adopting siblings actually and I'm still on that path and I'm really excited about that. What this trip has done is kind of opened up my eyes to the idea of actually adopting an orphanage and taking on a whole orphanage as like, you know, as a place to help nurture and grow through, throughout my, the rest of my life. What would you ask if you knew you could have anything? Through this journey, we recognize that anyone is capable of significant impact and even global change simply by taking action, by becoming the example. There's, there's so much that I've seen and my heart is, is, is bigger for it. And I, I can picture the moments, I have photographs that I can look at, but in my, in my, in my mind there's moments that I can picture of children's eyes and faces uh, there's places where I've grown and expanded. There's risks that I took both professionally and personally to be here. And I keep going to these different countries and more remote places and I expect people to be different and they're not. They, human beings um, need human touch and they need connection and they need to be heard and accepted for who they are and be known. So I encourage people to um, 
to get related. We're all in this together. I'm realizing those words, it's really true. We're here on planet Earth together. And what is it that we each have to contribute to make our life worth something and our time on this planet worthwhile? I Can Change the World begins with changing our minds in pursuit of a greater life experience, both for ourselves and others. Uh, yeah, the reminder is, is you know, if we can just not be so self-absorbed, not be so selfish, and that realize that, especially at a very difficult time right now, that it's just reach at, reaching out and, and doing our part to, to heal the world. Be the change you wish to see in the world.